Hey Sag, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings for you versus them, you and your person. What's going on with Sagittarius and their person? Alrighty, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. What's going on with Sagittarius and their person? Mutual. We have the Five of Pentacles, okay? Could be missing each other. <clears throat> Also, I uh, just got like feeling like you don't get enough time with this person or maybe the two of you are always gone or maybe your jobs take you away from each other a lot. Like feeling like you're missing each other a lot is what I'm getting. Someone feeling left out in the cold. You could both be feeling this way. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling so far. Okay. And how do you feel about this person, Sagittarius? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you feel a lot of love toward this person. A lot of emotions. This could be a brand new uh, connection for you. Whenever I get the Ace of Cups, it's always like a brand new love opportunity. And so that's uh, your mindset or how you could be thinking. Okay. You could have a lot of emotions toward this person. And how are they feeling toward Sag? Wow. Another Ace. Ace of Wands. So they feel the same way. They feel very passionate about you. And that's why I say it's the energy of like missing each other, feeling like you don't get enough time together. Um, and the potential outcome for this week between the two, Six of Swords. There could be a bit of travel, needing to travel to see each other. This could be a long distance relationship, which would make sense as to why the two of you miss each other or feel like you don't get enough time. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups. There could be long distance here. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Let's get into it. Let's clarify because it could be different messages coming through. Five of Pentacles between the two. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Wands. And Four of Cups. Yeah. It's like the two of you are really busy having a lot to juggle on your plate. And Four of Cups. It's like, ugh. You both feeling like a bit down. Show me that. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. The devil energy is here. Lots of passion, I'm feeling. Queen of Pentacles, there's something about overworking. Like the two of you, you just don't get enough time together. Eight of Wands, wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, wanting to travel to see each other. Five of Cups, but you are sad. The two of you, judgment and justice. Hoping to bring this back around so the two of you can be together, making things right between each other, balancing things out, trying to do the right thing. Okay. Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is Sag feeling the Ace of Cups? Strength card. Yeah, this is difficult. So there's love here, but it is difficult. It could be a Leo that you're dealing with, but it's like something is difficult for you. Hanging man could be a Pisces. You're, you're thinking about this a lot. Yeah, having long term with this person. What else is Sag thinking and feeling? Nine of Swords, it stresses you out, keeps you up at night. Six of Pentacles, wanting equal give and take with this person. Wanting to talk to this person. You might be even thinking of investing in a move, but Seven of Wands, it, your job or something could be keeping you back or holding you back. And it could be making you very frustrated at this time. Ace of Wands. Show me this energy. Why is this person feeling the Ace of Wands towards Sagittarius? Yeah, they like you. Queen of Wands. <laughs> They're thinking about you. High Priestess. Piscean energy. Oh, you, Sagittarius. You are definitely <laughs> on this person's mind. They could be trying to figure out yeah like all of this passion that they have like what do i do with all of this they could really want to connect with you sexually as well they could miss you when you're not around them miss the two of you and the passion that was there or when the two of you do connect it's like that's all that they can think about okay secretly thinking about you getting uh, a, a little bit hot and bothered five of wands yeah Ten of Swords, okay, and Two of Swords. So um, to be honest with you, this person could be thinking, um, is this over? Should I end it? Who Should I end it? 
Why are they not having a lot of faith? They are questioning this. Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Uh-oh. Four of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Is this person able to be faithful at a distance? Because if... I'm just saying, if there's distance between the two of you, they may... They may find it hard to uh, not touch other people if there's distance between the two of you, okay? I am seeing that energy very strongly. So this person, they may not be good at long distance relationships. This is a person that would need to be with you because they feel very sexually attracted to you. I see on your side, it's more about love and emotions, but that Ace of Wands that came out for them and that Queen of Wands, they may feel very sexually drawn to you. And this is difficult for this person. Five of Wands, they don't want to hurt you, but they may go out, they may party, they may meet up with friends a lot. With the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, and then King of Wands, see? And then it's like, oh man, I don't want to go out and party. Four of Pentacles, they're trying to hold back that side of them. If I go out and party, I'm going to mess mess this up. I'm going to cheat or, I'm you know, I'm going to flirt. I'm going to do something wrong here. And it could be vice versa. I do want to say that. I'm, I paused just so I could pick up that other energy. It could be vice versa. This person could be thinking that about you. Okay? Like if you go out or if you go party, they may want you to stay home. They may not trust the fact that you want to go out and hang out with friends or something like that. Because they may think that you're going to cheat. And they, they want you all to themselves. They want your attention, want you all to themselves in a relationship. Okay, so just put the characters where they go. This person could be very possessive over you. What are their intentions with Sag? Their intentions. Five of Swords is here. Hermit. And Ace of Pentacles. So they could be secretly planning something to offer you long term. Knight of Cups, yeah. They could be planning something here, yeah. Aquarius energy, Virgo energy is here. This may surprise you or shock you in some type of way that you really are their wish. You, you really are this person's star. But I do feel like <laughs> this person may be uh, very, very possessive of you. They may be afraid that you would cheat, okay? Or they may not trust themselves completely. Even though they're, you're their wish, they may not trust themselves, okay? That may be an issue. How is Sag feeling about this person? The moon, okay? King of Cups and the sun. So deep down, you are really in love with this person. That's why I said you have a lot of emotions for this person, you are really in love with this person. This person, they love through a lot of passion or heat or sex. It's like that's how they express their emotions. Um, and that may that may or may not scare you, okay? It, it, that may scare you. <laughs> Six of Swords for the potential <clears throat> outcome. Potential outcome this week. Whoa, you guys, my goodness. Hold on. No. I'm shuffling everything back in. Potential outcome for this week. Between Sag and this person. We have the full energy. We have the world. And the king of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like the two of you... I don't know. There, there's some energy here where... <clears throat> It's like you have to focus on work. 
King and Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles already came out up here. King of Pentacles down at the bottom for the mutual. Okay. And so I feel like there's a need to focus on work. Like we see each other and then, you know, then we go about our business. You know, I go my way, they go their way. And then we have to focus on work again. <clears throat> there could be an opportunity for the two of you or a chance for the two of you to talk about where this is going. The two of you need to talk about that. Yeah. Are we going to be in a relationship, in a committed relationship? Are we getting married? There needs to be that kind of talk. Okay. Okay. Let me come to this deck. Advice. Eh, oh, that was a lot. Advice for Sagittarius. <clears throat> life review. It says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay. So for you, uh, Sagittarius, <clears throat> think about your life and what you really want. If you feel like this is unbalanced or you feel like you're not getting the emotional side of this person or this person is not trusting you enough or something like that, take review of your life. Is, is that what you want? Is that what you desire? Or do you feel like there's something better to be had? Advice for the cross watcher. Remember who you are just popped out. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay. I feel like that's for you. For some reason, because it came out before I could even ask. Remember who you are, Sagittarius. <clears throat> and don't beg for anyone's love. If this person is showing you nothing but sex and jealousy and all of that. I do see eventually they plan to give an offer at some date that's more solid. But... Mm, they may hide it for a while. It may take a long time for this person to want to fully commit. Ooh. This is what they want. Knight of Cups with the uh, star card. That's more of a playful energy, more of a romantic energy. Wanting to take you out, wanting to date you, wanting to take your clothes off. <laughs> Advice for the cross watcher dealing with the Sag. Claire Sentience is here. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So cross watcher, what are you feeling towards Sagittarius? And don't hold back your feelings. Whatever you, it says, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings. If deep down you feel something more serious with Sagittarius, you need to say that. Okay. And this is coming out in a lot of readings where people need to be honest with what they're feeling deep down and stop playing mind games, okay? If you really feel that you want something more serious with Sagittarius, <clears throat> stop trying to be sexy, stop trying to, you know, get them dickmatized, pussymatized, get out of the sexual energy and tap more so into your emotions, because I see that Sag is already there, but you're not there as far as tapping into your emotional side. Any other insight for Sagittarius, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? Any other insight? We have courage for Sagittarius. It says you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Again, take a life review. If you feel like this is unrequited or you feel feeling like you're not getting enough from this person or the situation... Set strong boundaries. Don't allow this person to come in and out or be so indecisive with you. Take courage. Have the courage to say no. Okay? Some people, it takes a lot of courage to say yes, but to me, it takes even more courage to tell someone no. I don't want this or no, this is not, uh, I don't see this going anywhere or this is not what I want. Okay? Alrighty, Sage, that is your energy for you and your person. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I hope to hear from you guys. Leave it in the comments if this resonated with you. Take care. Bye.